I will be having my handy Lauren here <laughs> and she will be helping me showing you what I do or what I've done I should say. Hey everyone, it's Miss Lauren Lee 11. Thank you for coming to watch my video today. Thank you for my new subscribers. Hi guys, I saw you all subscribing. Thank you so much. Thank you to my old subscribers. You know who you are. Thank you guys for coming back. I hope you find this video very interesting. So today guys, I'm going to be showing you how I created my faux bob on my 3C 4A hair. Now, if you want to see how I got this wash and go, you can go to my previous video, which is just the one before this and that was how I do a 10 minute wash and go on my 3C 4A hair. This is a lead on video from that one. Now the reason why I'm going to show you how I do a faux bob is because even though my hair is the same length when it's straightened, when it's in its curly state it shrinks up in different sections as you can see this bit shrunken up again. So now guys I have not cut my hair as you can see. I have uh, quite a bit of shrinkage as you can see I have not cut my hair this is just my faux bob and I'm loving it but I suppose it's coming up to summertime and you know it's what a new do but I didn't want to cut my hair <laughs> as a disclaimer guys I will say obviously everybody's hair type is different and what works for me may not work for you but this is something that you may want to um, try if you want to try you can maybe add or take away some things that I do and see what works for you. But what you need is your hair to shrink. Okay guys, you don't want your hair in a stretch state. So you need products or a product that will shrink your hair so you can get it in a curly faux bob type of thing. Anyway, so let me just go on and show you. So I'm not gonna demonstrate completely what I've done in the sense that I'm not gonna show you washing my hair and all that today, but I will be having my handy Lauren here. <laughs> And she will be helping me showing you what I do or what I've done, I should say. Okay, let's jump into it, guys. Okay, guys, so as I said, first step, you want to wash and condition your hair. As I said, that's in my previous video, and you can check that out now. And um, literally, all you do, wash, condition. You can deep condition if you want. I did deep condition this time. I don't deep condition every time, but I did do it this time because I wanted as much moisture as possible. And what I did is then style it with the Eco Styler. Okay, so Lauren will be showing you up here. <laughs> and I used the olive oil, the green olive oil Eco Styler. And reason being is because I find that out of all the Eco Styler gels, this is the one with the thickest hold or tightest hold, if that makes sense. It's the one that I find does not mess around. It gets your hair defined, as you can see, shiny, and it does the job. I find that the other one, once I crunch out the cast, I find that my hair just gets a bit fluffy and a bit out there, and it's not really what I'm looking for. So I can always rely on the green olive oil eco styler. So that is the first one. That's the product that I use. You may not want to use eco styler. You can even use a mousse, but you're going to need something that gives you a great hold, great definition. I find that having a crunchy hold is better than having a soft hold if that makes sense. So the next step, you want to wait for your hair to completely dry. I done my hair in the evening, so sometimes you can have do, I suppose you can do your hair in the morning, do your wash and go in the morning, as I said like my 10 minute wash and go, do your hair in the morning, go outside, let it dry. But you want your hair to completely dry before you try to manipulate the faux bob. At night, I didn't pineapple my hair because you don't want your hair stretched. Guys, you do not want to stretch your hair. You want it to be as shrunken as possible, okay? And then what I done was, I slept with this silk bonnet. As you can see, Lauren's showing you here. <laughs> so I had my bonnet on, as you can see, Lauren's showing you. <laughs> and once I woke up, my hair was actually pretty much dry. I still had some wet parts in the on the roots, but that was fine. That's, that's neither here nor there. That's fine, because when it's wet, it shrinks up, as I say. And the only parts you want to manipulate are the parts that have shrunken up too much. Okay, like these bits, as you can see, they're shrunken up because I wet them this morning. When your hair is wet, you're going to want to put some oil in it so you get this shine. Mine is my favourite, this Jamaican black castor oil. I like it because it's thick and it gives me weight, but it gives an amazing shine. You can see that shine, guys, can't you? 
You want to do that when your hair's wet, not after, because I find that doing it after, it make, it just sits on top of the strands rather than penetrate the strands. But when your hair is wet, it soaks in and then you come out with this incredible shine. Next step, as you can see, some of these look stretched out. I didn't do anything to the back. I didn't stretch out the back at all, but I did stretch out the front. So what I done, I got the hair dryer and I just, about two seconds, one, two, and I did use hot heat, guys, just quickly. I didn't do my roots because I didn't want any frizzing at the roots. Okay, so I literally just done the curls down here and I just stretched, held them down and then stretched them. Okay. And that is how I got my hair to be pretty much the same level. And that is how I got my faux bob. Okay, guys, and also if you do feel that your hair has stretched out more than you would like it to at any point, you can just take a water bottle, a spritz bottle, and just spritz it back so your hair shrinks up so it reverts. So for instance, I pulled out this curl earlier, and as you can see, it's it's kept the longer position, which I don't like, so I will be spritzing it. What I find is for me at that point, it's better to spritz it at the roots. And then what I find is I'll leave it for now. I know it's still hanging down, but it will start to shrink up in a little bit. Okay guys, so that is literally it. So there wasn't really much to it. It was obviously doing my styling, my um, wash and go, and then letting it dry. Don't manipulate it, do not stretch it. That is the key. Don't stretch it via a pineapple or what have you. The best thing to do is, once your hair is dry, to make sure that it's all the same level, use the hair dryer. You don't have to use hot heat. Again, I mean, it's up to you, you can alter this method that I've shown you. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's very quick and thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for coming back and subscribe now if you have not already subscribed so you don't have to miss the next video. Trust me guys, the next video is going to be a good one. All right guys, so I'll see you in the next video and take care. Thanks for watching. Bye.